This is a tutorial on how to use Slideshow on apot.com and sciag.com. Um, the first thing is that um, there's different varieties of Slideshow. There's an Angular JS version, an ASP version, and just a regular version that uses PHP. Um, on the normal screen when you start Slideshow, it goes through all the links of the page and it's set automatically to be 30 seconds for each link that opens up. Uh, you can change that setting uh, at any time, uh, either before you start slideshow, after or during when you slide slideshow, and it will change the timing of all when all the windows open up whenever you change it. Uh, so you can change it down to five seconds if you're not logged in or one second if you are logged in. And if you're using the ASP version on APOT, this MVC, uh, you can change it to one second at any time without logging in. Um, also, in addition to that, if you're logged in, you can actually grab links from a page and create your own slideshow. And the way you do that is you log in and then you click set it at the top of the screen and it'll open a menu at the bottom and you go to the very bottom, there's a box and you type in an address there and you hit enter and it will grab all the links from that page. This will not work on all links that you could type in it will work on most sites that work in a convent that's coded in a conventional manner. Uh, sites that are not con uh, coded in a conventional manner, it will not work. It could be adjusted to work on other sites, but at the moment, it's just a general thing. But most sites, in general, use that that lot that that coding, so it will work on an awful lot of sites. Um, and so, in slideshow, the main window controls the whole show. So if you're opening, if it opens windows, um, if you start closing windows, it'll just keep reopening windows and it won't help you. If you hit click stop slideshow, it'll stop opening windows. A slideshow also contains a thing to allow you to open up multiple windows at one time and you can actually click on it and change it and it will change the window, the default window that the uh, links are opening on. Also, it remembers uh, links, so if you click on the top menu, it's going to remember um, that you had the slideshow running and it's going to continue to run links. So you can actually cover quite a few links very fast using this, this tool. Um, but one thing that you will have an issue with is that sometimes some sites will open up their own separate window. And so that new window that comes open is now the new default window. And so you have an extra legacy window left open that you're not even using. And that's just a default. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, that just happens to be a feature that exists, and so we just have to deal with that. Um, and so there are issues when you use Slideshow. You have to be able to understand what you're doing and being able to manage the whole thing. Of course, using the multiple windows and stuff is only for advanced users or something you might very rarely use. But it was an extra feature that was added in. Uh, it is convenient that you can change the speed that it's opening, so if you want um, windows to open at 30 seconds, you can do that, or you want it to open at 5, or, or you can do that, or if you log in, you can do it at 1 second. Also, whether or not you're using a cell phone or whether or not you're using a PC, um, there's not much difference. It will work both on a cell phone and on a PC both. Um, and so it allows you, to, except if you're using a cell phone, of course, you're going to have a high data usage because of opening up so many sites and stuff. But um, other than that, it, the functionality will be the same. There's a couple other features that are built into Slideshow. Um, you don't have to use Slideshow itself. You can use a mouse over or a new window feature and just open individual links. Uh, this is a feature that's available on many pages throughout uh, apot.com and sciag.com. Um, and um, that's all we're going to talk about right now for Slideshow, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.